Hello everyone and welcome back to Lavelia's Coloring. How are you all doing? I do hope you are all doing good. What I have for you all today is my completed colorings for the month of March. I have been wanting to make this video for a few days but I've been suffering from really bad allergies all from you know sneezing to watery eyes and headaches. So right now it's been a little bit over an hour since I took the my allergy pill so i hope i can get through this without any like sudden sneezing fits but you know if that ever happens i'll probably just edit it out and hopefully my neighbor will stop his drilling on his porch i don't know what he's doing some backyard project but um so far he stopped so hopefully he doesn't start up again but uh throughout the video if i am sniffly please excuse me i'll try not to do that or if i need to blow my nose i'll stop the recording anyways i wasn't able to do as much coloring as i thought i would uh, at the beginning of the month i felt like i was on a roll with my coloring but that kind of stopped when my husband had to visit the emergency room and then you know he self-quarantined himself in our bedroom for a week and that's where I have my coloring corner and it's where also where I record and you know during the time my husband was at the emergency room I was busy cleaning and moving all the stuff I would need like toiletries my clothes um, my son's clothes because his dresser is also in our room and the only thing I grabbed from my desk before I had to pick up my husband from the ER was my laptop for my 11 year old son to use for his schoolwork and you know all our chargers so for about a week I didn't color and then I was kind of in a coloring slump for a while I couldn't find the motivation but you know I did end up finishing up when we're coloring before the end of the month which I'm really happy about so we'll go ahead and start off with the color by numbers coloring book so I am not sure if I've already shown this page, but this is the Disney Babies Carrie Mystery. This is by Hatchet Heroes. And yeah, I'm not sure if I showed this page already, but I did this page with Baby Mickey with the Tombow dual dual brush markers. And I did the crisscross method that I learned from Lisa's coloring corner. I really like doing that so I'm going to be doing that for the rest of this book. So that's this, um, Baby Mickey from Disney Babies Carrie Mystery. And then the second one is the Disney Princess and Fairies. I did this page also with the Tombow dual brush markers and you can tell it's Cinderella when she lost her slipper I accidentally just looked like all one color but um, I think I used too dark of a purple and I used black over here and it was supposed to be I think my lighting was off because I was watching Onward from Disney Plus and our lighting wasn't good so I grabbed the black and it's supposed to be I think it was like a navy blue but it's okay. As long as Cinderella is showing. Again with the crisscross method. So yeah, so this is the like color by numbers, Carrie Mr. Ray, Disney's Princess and Fairies, and also by Hatchet Heroes. I have another color by number and this one is uh, Le Grand Classic Tome 3. Sorry, I thought it was in the. And this is also by Hatchet Heroes. And the pa I did my first one in this, which I actually forgot to post this on Instagram. So I did Elsa from Frozen. And I was planning to do this page, and you can tell it's Anna, but I didn't get around to doing that page. Um, so I did this page with Prismacolor Premier Color pencils, and then I used Gamsol 
to smooth out the um, the strokes, my pencil strokes. I also put the Zig Kuritaki, uh, what is that, glitter brush on her lid and then also on the little like snowflakes I think on her hair. Yeah. Then I forgot um, the pen I used for the outline isn't Posca. I actually used this Sakura Pigma FB. I think that means fine point. So, and it's bendy, so it's not like a stiff um, tip where it won't scratch your paper or anything like that. Yeah. So this is what I use to outline uh, the black areas. So this is Elsa from Le Grand Classique, Tome 3. This is the Disney Color by Number book by Hatchet Heroes. The next one I have is Ink House by Rory Dobner. And I did two in this book. I did this page. And I was playing with the Distress Inks. And I actually, yeah, the, I did a base of Distress Inks in this area, the mice uh, or rat in <laughs> this area. And then I colored on top of it with the Karen Dash Pablos. On the wallpaper part, I used white Posca to outline it. And that actually took a while, so it, it's a simple page, but just outlining it with white Posca took me a bit. So I did this page, and then the second page I did in here is Geraldine the Giraffe, right over here, which I did for several color alongs. And again, I was playing with Distress Ink. In the background, I used Derwent Ink Tents for s some of the parts. I think it was like the cherry and the the chocolate fudge. I also used Sergeant Art Supreme colored pencils to color in, and also the Derwent Color Soft. And then I have a little bit of Posca on the cherries, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So this is Geraldine the Giraffe. And from the Ink House by Rory Dobner. The next one is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So if you are a subscriber, you would have known about the page I colored in here, which is the same as the cover of this book. I do have speed coloring of this whole page. It's separated by four parts I believe one two three or well, five parts one two three four five I think I can't remember <laughs> I forgot it's either four or five parts but um if you look I think I have a playlist for it but it's just a couple videos away so I colored this all with Prismacolor Premiere and then I believe the only other thing I added was white Posca for the stars on the candle and to outline the wispy purple thing around willow so yeah i actually started this sometime last year i'm not sure like october november and finally finished in the beginning of march but really happy with how it turned out yeah and I remember to look up who requested it. So Dusty, uh, <laughs> if you're still there, uh, here it is. I hope you like the final result and thank you so much for requesting it. So yeah, so this is my coloring in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer adult coloring book. The next book is Kirby Rosanna's Phantomorphia. This is my first uh, colored page in here so I again was playing with 
Distress Ink. I did the whole page with Distress Ink, except for the dragons. Um, I think I was looking at like either sunsets or sunrise. I can't remember. Uh, I just googled uh, a sunrise or sunset, and I saw a picture with these colors, and I tried to emulate it. And then, yeah, so besides the Distress Ink, I colored on top of it with Caran d'Ache Luminance. And you can see that around the clouds, I did use White Posca to outline it. But I also used the Tombow Dual Brush markers to go over the White Posca. So turned it a little bit pink so it's not so white. I believe I used yellow on that part. Yeah. Just add a hint of color so it's not so bright. Really love how this turned out. You can't tell. I'm not sure if it shows. But it looked too like black and white. So the color, the purple color I used on here, I think it was. Hold on. Let me see. Is it mauve or Aberdeen? Sorry. Phantom Margaret. I use, oh, manganese. I used manganese of violet to add a little more purple around the outside of the moon. And then you can see that I added yellow on this part for the yellow coming from this area. Yeah, really love how this came out. Uh, I was just really inspired to, uh, after seeing that photo of the um, sunset or the sunrise. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one I <laughs> looked up. But yeah, so glad I finally colored in Phantomorphia. Now I just have three more books of Kirby's to, oh no, four more books now because he has Geomorphia, Anamorphia, and the World of Worlds. I haven't, yeah, those three. So I have three more Curvy Rosannas to color. So hopefully I can be inspired to color one of his pages from those books. So this is Phantomorphia from Curvy Rosannas. Okay, so the final one is from Waltzes of the Season. Uh, you saw me coloring in this for a color chat. My only one for March. <laughs> and um, If you're um, on Instagram, you probably saw me post this. But this was the last one I posted for the month of March. Last one I colored that I think I spent two days just, you know, like just listening to music and trying not to go on YouTube and just finish coloring it so I can get it done because it was for a lot of color alongs that I wanted to use this page for so let me go let me see if I can zoom you in right over here yeah so I colored this page starting off with Faber-Castell Albert Durer then I also used Durant Ink Tents actually can point out I used it on this and the bowls and the teapot and the um, pan or pot so that's the only one I used uh, the Durant ink tents I colored everything in with the whole bind artist colored pencils and then I also used Posca you can see it um, it was like nothing right over here in the flowers, but I had a light yellow Posca and I added it just to, so it can stick out from the dark, um, like blue violet color. I, there was a, something in this page that I forgot to color, which is her like wrap, the, um, the mice's wrap, the mouse's wrap, uh, it, the base was the same color as this one before I colored it on top and I forgot what I was going to do with it but I just like totally forgot and just left it but it's okay <laughs> I'll just leave it as it is but I did add little details like on the jar I tried to do plaid but I was using the um, the smallest 
Posca pen and I didn't want to do too much white lines on it so I just left it I put little like blue lines on the top of the bowls and the cups I'm really really happy with this page and I don't remember if I said what this book is this is the waltzes for the season and this is um, illustrated by Kanako Egusa sorry I can't think but I'll have all the books down below uh, in my video descriptions and go ahead and zoom me out besides the um, colorings I did for March I also finished a diamond painting by Victoria's Moon and I do have a video out on my post review for that um, so you can check that one out and I'll maybe I can put a video or video a picture of the finished um, product of that diamond painting here and yeah it's my first diamond painting and yeah I'm hooked <laughs> after that so I went ahead and started um, I, I bought other diamond paintings but I went straight to the diamond art club and during the week that I couldn't color I had a box arrived from the diamond art club and I just started I opened it up and started working on it I couldn't do an unboxing video or anything so I'm almost done with that painting so I'm gonna be doing a post review on that diamond painting but I told myself when that artist comes out again on diamond art club I am going to go ahead and buy it and I did I went ahead of it here's a sneak preview of it it is Angie and Oliver so I am almost done with this one really excited to finish that one up I also want to share with you guys a couple whips that I am currently working on which you will see in my finished pages I do have one in nocturnes which is a um, I'm coloring this with a buddy and kind of on pause for a while just to come back <laughs> again again um i was inspired to use the same colors for the sky up here and but instead of using distress ink it's kind of light because i use pastels so i don't know if it just if it's the lighting or what but I'll come back after I finish her up and put more color into the sky. I added the plant on this side and the curtains. And yeah, I'm just really taking my time with this page. Don't want to go too fast or else, you know, I'll probably just frustrate myself. So, <laughs> and of course the skin is going to be the last thing I do in this page. So again, this is Nocturnes and this is by Anastasia Ellie Coldariva. And the one I'm currently working on right now that I'm trying to finish is this illustration and this is I'm sorry it's kind of like bright um, this is illustrated by Fabrica Fantasy and this was a forgotten PDF that um, I'm doing this for Sammy from color and chat with Sammy her color along so I'm just trying to finish this one up and so I'm finishing up the flowers before I start on her and the rabbit and then I'll finish out with the sky very bright very lots of flowers it was <laughs> it was kind of intimidating because like all the flowers are kind of different and I'm like why well, am I going to color each of them so I just like had to pick and I with this one I used uh, Faber-Castell Abric Dur I used Tombow dual brush markers for the flowers I'm coloring it in with the Faber-Castell polychromos I also for her skin I just went ahead and used the touch new marker yeah and I forgot what to tell you what I was doing in this one and this page again touch new marker for her skin and I believe for the couch too yeah uh, for the wrap 
for the couch also markers for her hair i colored it in with tombow dual brush markers and then i just lightly colored over the beads with the color i want the um, necklace to be and uh, yeah so i'm going to go back in and shade that all in it was hard because you know with necklaces it's like kind of even you either have like three beads and then one like big thing and another three beads and this one's like it's mixed it's like not even so i had to figure out what am i gonna do with it you know i wanted to look even i, I don't know i'm just weird so <laughs> anyways yeah sorry yeah so everything else is colored in with the karen dash pablos and I think that's what I'm going to continue using in this page. So, yeah, so that is it. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I thank you so much for watching. Um, please take care out there and keep safe stay healthy thank you to all the nurses medical staff anyone that has to be out there please take care and also to the teachers oh my goodness staying home <laughs> with kids and oh, this week just dealing with trying to get my son to do his schoolwork is ah uh, yeah i'm really thankful to the teachers who have all the patience for them so yeah so anyways sending you all love and hugs and many happy colorings, my friends. Bye-bye.